What's going on, guys? This is your boy Rich, Book Rich Hits, man. So today we're actually going to be doing Photoshop Tutorial Tuesdays. I know that's long as hell. We're going to figure out something else for that. But Photoshop Tutorial Tuesdays is something that I want to start on this channel. But if you have any tutorial ideas that you want to shoot to me, go ahead and drop me a comment or follow me over on my Instagram page at Rich Hits. Link will be down below as well. So today we're actually going to be going over a tutorial. I uh, simply just teaching you guys how to clone yourself. I'm pretty sure you guys seen tons of photos like this uh, on YouTube or on Instagram of people just cloning themselves, taking different variations of pictures, people taking pictures of themselves, posing with themselves, or just being in the picture with themselves. It's really simple and easy to do. Please stick with me. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need uh, in your mission to actually take self-portraits uh, and to clone yourself, you're going to need a tripod or anything that you can sit the camera on that you can sit it still. So you don't want to you don't want to move the camera at all, because when you're cloning yourself, you're going to need the same background. Number two, you're going to need a camera, of course, but not just with the camera, a camera with Wi-Fi sync capabilities. And number three, honestly, a lot of people don't talk about this, but what you need is constant lighting. So if you try to do this at sunset, you would really have to do this really fast because everyone knows during sunset, you only have about 15 to 20 minutes before the lighting change and then your photo is going to complete shit. All right, so now that you guys know all that, let's go ahead and dip into Photoshop. Um, I did some self-portraits the other day. YouTube video will be dropping on that. But I did one that I wanted to use for a clone video just for Photoshop purposes. Let's go ahead and dip into Photoshop. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Pretty simple. So we have Photoshop open. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to hit open. And now we're going to go to the photos that we have selected which I have them on my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and select those, click open. Now we have both of our photos here and there. If I toggle back and forth, you can already, you can already see that it's gonna be cloned. So what I'm going to want to do is unlock this layer. I'm going to hit Command or Control C. Go back onto the other picture or the other Photoshop file. Hit Command or Control V. It's going to paste it directly on top of itself. So now with that done, let's close that. I don't like the way it looks. All right. Now that we have that done, all we need to do is go down here to this box with the circle in it. That's gonna be your mask. You wanna click mask, turn your opacity down to about 50%, just so you can see yourself there. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that. Click on the layer mask, which is white, and the rule of layer mask is when you're on white you paint black if the layer mask is black you want to paint white so since we have our base color as black right here down in the left hand corner and our layer mask over here in your layers panel is going to be white let's go ahead and click the paintbrush and we're going to literally just paint right over ourselves paint directly over ourself and then we bring the opacity back up and boom just like that it is that simple to clone yourself super easy tutorial thank you guys so much for watching man so if this video actually helped you out at all i know it was a short quick tutorial but comment down below let me know if you had any extra questions or if you guys want to try this out so if you want to try it just go ahead and tag me on instagram at rich hits just say yo bro this is dope i got the idea from you go ahead and let me know that you came from youtube i love seeing those messages and seeing those comments it's a really simple trick man it's so easy to do and it actually gives your photo a little bit more diversity as far as being more creative in the creative community 
appreciate you guys so much. Go out there and create. Peace.